Hey everybody, it's Busy Little Bee. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're headed back to Oklahoma. We need to see how Amber Lynn Reed is doing. She's going to talk a little bit about her exes. We're going to get a very unhealthy, binge-friendly grocery haul. And her therapist will go from male to female in one single sentence. Let's get into it. Hi, I am ready and I just filmed a couple TikToks. I'm trying to do like daily Q and A's on Instagram as well, just to like correspond more with my audience. And plus you guys always have so many questions and I don't mind answering them. The narcissist always loves talking about themselves. How long has Amberlynn been doing Q and A's? 10 years? I think she has answered enough questions about herself, but you know, it's her favorite topic. So why not? <laughs> Let's start with the first bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs in the morning. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every single time I do a Trader Joe's haul, people always say that. And I'm just like, yeah, um, I don't go there often. But when I do, it's like I, I stock up on like the things that I really like from there. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories, losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets mixed in milk chocolate. So excited to try that. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lunch and rice snacks. I got some olives. This is stuffed olives. It's garlic and jalapeno. I needed some soy sauce. So I hope I like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce, which is totally fine. And then I really wanted like a pasta sauce, which they didn't have what I normally have because Trader Joe's doesn't have stuff like that. But there is a pasta sauce that I have been having, but I decided I'm gonna try something different. This is a spicy pasta sauce. So excited to try it that. All right, on to the second bag. I got some of their mashed potatoes, which I love. I got two things of vegetable panning curry with jasmine rice. I also love these. I love literally everything that I got honestly um i've never had this which i'm sure i will love it cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce i know that i'm pronouncing that wrong so come for me come for me i already know what's happening um i also got some brussels sprouts i got two things of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage i got a bag of the chicken gyoza pot stickers love i am mm. Chef's kiss. Got a thing of some chana masala. I've never had this. I have had it from like uh, Indian restaurants, but I've never tried it from there. So I'm excited to try it. I got some peppered salami. Salami can be triggering for me, but I'm hoping I have it under control. And if I don't, I know to just never buy these again. So yeah. And then I also got some ground turkey. All right, so the final bag here. I got some of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt and vinegar, and chili with spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this, so yum. And then I got some of these mochi rice nuggets, and these are spicy, I'm excited to try those. I just got some broccoli here, some pulled pork tamales. I like making these in the air fryer, it's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Thai vegetable gyoza, if you guys remember, then you know. Did that make sense? I got two of these mac and cheeses, which I really like. And then I got some of these salami sticks. I got three packs of them, which is six of them. Um, this is what it looks like. I was like, okay, I want to try those. I got some of these turkey meatballs. If you guys know, then you know. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with those as well. And then the last thing I got are these buffalo style chicken poppers. I'm sure you guys all caught that, but I just want to reiterate that she said salami triggers her. Look how much salami was in that damn grocery haul. And look at all those snack foods. Snack foods, she says, are one of her triggers also. And she's there alone all the time. This seems to me like it's a planned binge. Real quickly, I want to do a monthly update on how much weight I lost in March because I did it in January where I lost 7 pounds. I did it in February where I lost 9.2 pounds. And now March, how much did I lose? So I actually weighed in today at 489.6. So that means in the month of March, I lost exactly 10 pounds, which I'm very, very proud of. So in the vlog that Amber put out on March 28th, 2024, the title of it is Weigh In What I Ate Today Counting Calories and Cook With Me she weighed 489.6 so does that mean that in the last three days of march she didn't lose a single ounce is that that's what we're proud of 
I'm glad she's losing weight. I hope she's losing weight. It doesn't look like it to me. I would love to see her actually weigh in on the scale. Do I think she's going to do that? Not really. But I hope she's telling the truth. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you believe her. I have had an absolute influx of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend, one is married. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also assuming I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had. And they definitely have. And I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life though i very much do i have talked about valentine a little bit i just want to do things a little bit differently this time you know not just like bombard you guys right off the bat like hi you know i have a new love interest like i have talked about her and it was before my ex got a girlfriend it was before my ex got married because i'm over there on instagram I'm like yeah i do have you know a little love life going and yes i am actively in love right now and the reason why i'm not talking about that in my videos and like bombarding you guys with that is because i do want to do things differently because so much in the past i've just like word vomited all my relationship stuff and like with Feline, I very much learned how to be more like private. And I'm not saying that this relationship is gonna stay private. It's just very much I wanna just like give you guys a little bit at a time. I love how anytime Amber is called out on anything, her audience becomes the problem. She's very funny in the way that she always has something else or someone else to blame. She rarely, if ever, has taken accountability. Ma'am, this isn't on your audience. This is about you and what you have done to ruin your relationships. We saw what you did to Crystal. We saw what you did to Destiny. We saw what you did to Becky. And then you realized, holy shit, maybe I shouldn't show these people my relationships because I'm an absolute monster to my partners. But, you know... That's just my opinion. I really need to see a therapist for my borderline personality disorder. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was better in that regard. Like, it's not something that like, you can just like heal from instantly. No, it takes years and years and years of like therapy. But I thought that I saw improvement in myself and like a situation happened recently where I'm just like, whoa, girly pop needs to go to therapy. <laughs> and that's something I can definitely like admit out loud is like, I need help. What you need, in my humble opinion, is a therapist who is not gonna coddle you and baby you. You need someone who's gonna give it to you real, regardless of how it makes you feel. I think you need to be given some hard truths. It's hard to listen to some truths about yourself. It's going to be, that's being an adult. But facing those things and fixing them, that's what you haven't done. I recently went to therapy and I had like over 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. He helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder, like as a whole. He helped her tremendously, but she wasn't for borderline personality disorder. How does one go from a he to a she in one sentence? I am at such a different space in my life, different era, just who I am as a person is just so different. Do you guys remember the bedbound era around 2019 when she was telling us how much better she was doing? And then in 2021, she told us how much better her stamina was. Yeah, till I see any proof, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I've been through this too many times, girl. All right, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back very soon with Mary's 500-pound life. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.